Hello, and welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff, and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a tobacco review for you, and the tobacco which I will be reviewing is this. It is Rattray Old Gowrie. So let's get to it. The blend, as I mentioned, is Rattray Old Gowrie. It is produced by the Kohlhaas Kopp & Co. KG. It's a German company that took over Rat Ray's brand. Basically, Rat Ray's was a Scottish company, but then Kohlhaas Kopp and Cope and Company, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, took it over. They distribute it now, blend the tobaccos. They also make pipes, but they don't actually manufacture the pipes. They use different Italian and French manufacturers to make the pipes, but that is neither here nor there. It is available at smokingpipes.com in a 50 gram tin like this. They also have a 100 gram canister for 1542, and the 50 gram tin is 9.99. Pipes and Cigars has this 50 gram tin for 10.27 normally, 100 grams for 15.85, and a 500 gram for 64.99. But they're all sold out as of the recording of this video. I'm sure it's something that they would have in normally, but right now they're out of stock. And then Four Noggins has does not have this 50 gram tin they do have a 100 gram tin for 15.89 they have an eight ounce bag for 38.75 and a 500 gram bag for 68.50 now the tin description says <coughs> rich red virginia flake ready rubbed short sweet to the point the blend type as i mentioned is a virginia perique or a vapor as we like to say the blend contains red Virginias, a little bit of burley, Kentucky, call it whatever you want, and then a touch of Perique. So let's get to the vital stats. I've got them written down right here. The flavoring for this blend, I don't detect any added flavoring. Um, and as we mentioned before, I wanna be clear on this. When I say none detected, it doesn't mean that there isn't any in there. It just means that it's not something that's obvious. I don't detect it when I'm smoking the blend. <clears throat> the cut, is a ready rubbed or a broken flake. So let me show you that right now. Here is our tin of Rat Ray's Old Gowrie, but this tin is currently empty because after getting to the proper moisture content, I placed the tobacco in a jar. So it came slightly moist, and so I left it in the tin for a little while, but it didn't take long for it to reach the proper moisture content, and then I decanted it into this jar. Let's take, whoa, there we go. <laughs> a little more than I intended, but you can see this is a broken flake or a ready rubbed, whatever you'd like to call it. So it's basically a rubbed out or crumbled flake. Quite nice. So this is a blend of Virginia's, a um, little bit of Kentucky and Perique as well. Not sure if you can really make out the component tobaccos there when it's been pressed into a cake or a flake and then rubbed out. The tobaccos sort of meld together a little more, but I think you can see maybe some of the darker Perique in there, some of the brighter Virginia's and darker Virginia's and the Burley. Anyway, it's an attractive cut, and this ready rubbed form is actually pretty easy to pack, and they've done all the work for you, really, by rubbing it out um, beforehand. And I usually like to rub out flakes anyway, so I don't really mind getting a ready rub cut. Some people prefer to fold and stuff their flakes, but this is ready rubbed. Works well, packs well, lights well, stays lit well, smokes well. Not bad at all. Excellent. Now back to the vital stats. The strength of this blend, I'm calling mild to medium. Now, not everyone is going to agree with me on that, but I, I figure this is sort of a mellow blend. And the taste, I also said medium. Nicotine level, medium, but I could almost say medium mild. It's not something that you're going to really, really notice unless you're a real nicotine lightweight. The moisture from tin was moist towelette. It was smokable out of the tin, but it could use a little bit of drying time to be perfect. And the packaging, as I mentioned, 50 gram tin like this, and then there's 100 gram canisters, and there's def diff several different bulk options, which are basically, they're not just, you know, in a barrel at a, uh, at a retailer's place. There's bags in, in either the 500 gram or there's eight ounce bags, but they're packaged by the company. The tin note on this one, we've got my little canister that I put the tobacco in. Let's take a sniff, shall we? Mm -hmm. This smells like Virginia. It smells like red Virginia to be specific, which doesn't have as quite a high sharp hay note that some Virginias have. I always go to Orlick Golden Sliced, that, which is to me just kind of the, the quintessential 
grassy, hay-like Virginia smell. This does have a little bit of that grass, a little bit of the hay, but it's more of a kind of that sort of richer, darker red Virginia taste or smell. There's a little bit of that fruity sort of figgy note, which I'm assuming is from the Perique. You don't really get the spiciness in the bouquet from the Perique, but you definitely can get a little bit of that figgy qu quality to it. It's very fragrant and uh, very pleasant, very pleasant tin note. The room note, I would say, is fairly mild for what's almost a straight Virginia blend. It doesn't have a lot of that really heavy tobacco-y smell. Um, but, you know, Virginia blends do have a tendency to slightly veer towards the cigarette-y um, end of the spectrum. But this one, I think, is fairly mild for a Virginia blend. Now, if we get to the actual review, let me relight this here. I'm about halfway through the bowl, as per usual. And as I look over my notes here, this is, to me, a pretty mild, pretty mellow Virginia blend. And though it does have Perique in it, and it is technically a vapor, the Perique in this is really just a condiment. It's not something where you're really going to notice the Perique content. It's just there to add a little bit. <clears throat> it takes a little bit of the edge off the sweetness of the Virginias. But the character of these Virginias, to me, <clears throat> as opposed to being very grassy and hay-like and sharp and kind of that high sweetness, this has more of a weedy grain sort of um, oaty sort of taste to me, a cereal kind of taste. And there is some sweetness, but it's more in the aftertaste to me. It's not something that I notice when I'm imbibing the smoke as much, but in the mouthfeel and the aftertaste, there's a little bit of that Virginia sweetness left over. And like I mentioned, I don't detect a lot of Perique. I don't get that really spicy mouthfeel from this like I do with some really heavy Perique blends. I'm actually getting a little gurgle in this pipe, which is a rarity. But let me just suck some of that up with a pipe cleaner. And we'll get back to it here get it lit properly so I can really taste this blend. Like I said, pretty smooth and mellow. Um, some people might even consider this sort of one note, but there is that burly Kentucky in there, which gives a little bit of an extra character. There's a little bit of nuttiness and the fact that it's a broken flake. So this is pressed, into flakes or pressed and then cut into flakes and then ready rubbed it tends to marry the flavors a little more than if you had just a ribbon cut virginia blend um, so there is some nuance and some complexity but i would i could imagine that some people would consider this kind of one note but yeah i really get that kind of wheaty flavor i don't know if that makes any sense to you but oaty weedy a grain sort of flavor to it with that little touch of Perique, little bit of nuttiness from the Kentucky. Now, the interesting thing with this blend is that I am not really prone to getting tongue bite. And with Virginia blends in particular, there's a tendency for harshness sometimes with Virginia blends. Sometimes they can burn a little hot. And I know that some people who are sensitive to tongue bite or just feeling harshness from tobacco often feel that from Virginia blends, whereas they may not from a Virginia blend or something with a high Latakia content. This blend, even though it's ready rubbed and pressed into a flake ready rubbed, you would think that it would be less likely to get harsh and less likely to bite. And I think for most people, that's probably the case. But for me, for whatever reason, I don't know why, this blend out of many, many Virginia blends that I've tried has more of a tendency to bite me. I don't know why that is. And it's interesting because actually my older brother who does not like Elizabethan mixture, which is my favorite Virginia blend or one of my favorite Virginias, and which to me never gets harsh. He complains that Elizabethan gets very harsh for him. He can't enjoy it. He tried Old Gowry and liked it a lot and it didn't have a tendency to harshness for him, whereas it does for me. So I don't know if you could really take much from that. I would assume that the average person is going to think that this is a very nice, mellow, mild blend that's not going to have a tendency to harshness, but it does for me. So your mileage may vary.
putting aside the slight tendency to bite, um, for me, this is a nice, mellow, fragrant, medium-bodied Virginia blend. There's just a hint of perique, adds a little bit of spice, even though you don't really feel that in the mouth feel. It's not as sharp and sweet as some Virginia blends, and that burly Kentucky adds just a little bit of nuance, a little bit of character. It kind of offsets the sweetness of the Virginias, um, a little bit more depth. I think this would be a really good candidate for aging as well. If you got one of those um, 100 gram canisters, put it away for a couple years. I'm going to try that as well. I think maybe any of the tendency to harshness that it has for me might probably go away if I aged it for a little bit. But all in all, I think it's a really tasty blend. If it just weren't for that, that bitiness that I experience with it, I'm sure I would smoke it a lot more, but I do enjoy it. And right now, this bowl I'm having, let me just check. I'm not really getting that bite that I do often when I smoke this. And you can see I've smoked most of this tin. And I would say 65 to 70% of the time, I did get a little tongue bite from this. But like I said, you probably won't. I seem to be a weird outlier in that respect. But anyway, I think all in all, Rat Ray's <coughs> Old Gowrie, if I could speak, is a very, very good Virginia blend. They also have, you know, Marlin Flakes is, is another one of their really popular blends and Hallow the Wind. I would say Old Gowrie is kind of in the middle of those blends. Um, not really high in nicotine, not really, really full flavored, but something that could probably be a really nice, mellow, all day Virginia blend smoke for you. So thank you so much for watching this edition of Stuff and Things. Tune in next time where we will review other stuff and maybe some things as well. Until then, I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. Good day.